Hey guys, it's Jen, and I have to apologize, yeah, I know, I haven't done a video in a little while, but I have been very busy, I will have you know. Um, I actually have a vlog on the boyfriend's channel, he asked me to do one for a, a, this pet that you can get in a game, and I totally did it, totally did it for the pet. Anyway, other than that, because it's been like two plus weeks, um, I just blame the holidays getting the best of me. The holidays is such a busy time. It is such a busy time. And so, <sighs> yeah, I've, I've kind of been slacking in the vlog department. So I'm sorry. But I have a video here for you. So here we go. Whoa, it's so fun. <laughs> So with the holidays, it got me thinking that you really actually see the best and the worst of everybody during this time of the year. This one month that that happens between Thanksgiving to New Year's, this December month, um, you really see like some people being very generous and sweet. The one thing that I always enjoyed was uh, going shopping with my dad on Christmas Eve, even though we probably already had everything and all the gifts that we needed. Um, it was just really fun to like go to the mall with, you know, my dad and go walk around and look at like some Christmas Eve sales and chances are we'd probably pick a few things up, but it was still fun. So whatever. It was cool. And that kind of stuff was like a really good experience. It was, uh, you know, that family bonding time. It was, you know, good, good spirits, you know, and everything like that. However, it's not always like that. And then you also see them being complete bee faces. Let me, let me explain to you what a bee face is. It is that face that you get from somebody while you're waiting in line at, say, your local supermarket, your local mall, your local shopping center, whatever it is, and it's, it's got to be during this time of year, and you're waiting to check out or you're looking around at something and you just get that look from somebody. Or like this. Or it can even look like this. Yeah, those can all be B faces. And they can be from anybody, you guys. That teenage girl you see waiting in line who has to be at the party in like 20 minutes and oh my gosh, she has to still get her white elephant gift and she's pissed off. Or it can be that mom with three kids and she's buying her pre the presents in front of them. Because let's face it, sometimes moms don't really have a lot of time and kids tend to be completely oblivious. So they might not know it, it's okay. However, having to deal with three kids during the holidays they're gonna have a bee face. And then you also have guys who do it as well. I'm serious. You have the guys who are shopping with their wives, with their girlfriends, something, and they're sitting there having to wait for them to try on a bunch of clothes. Oh, they totally have a bee face on. Now many of you will say, that's actually part of the holiday experience. I don't know who you are and, and how many of you actually enjoy going out and being pushed around and having bee faces thrown at you all the time, but not me. No, I like to go enjoy the holidays and look at all the nice froofy stuff. I want to avoid the piss poor attitude. I really do. So my way around having the bee face thrown at you all the time while you're shopping is online shopping. You guys, if it wasn't for Amazon, I think I would be sunk. Because most of my gifts would be coming from the local big lots. Because we don't really got much around here, really. like. If I had to walk to a mall, it would take forever. I could probably take public transportation, but I haven't ever done it here since I moved here, so I would have no idea where I'm going. But the fact remains, whatever you can find at the mall, whatever you can find at Walmart, any little neat tech gadget, anything that your little heart desires, guess what? You can find it online. And oh, let me say, it has saved my butt. Especially moving far away, you guys. Uh, I've moved, I've moved kind of like a few states away from my parents. I would say it's like across the country. It kind of feels that way. But how am I supposed to get my presents to them? Well, thank goodness for Amazon because there's gonna be a present for them from me, and and it's the exact same thing as me going out and getting it. I don't, I don't know. How do you guys feel about that? Personally, I think it's just fine. It's just fine. It's just fine. Online shopping 
is like the the virtual mall. It's a virtual mall, okay? The holidays in and of itself are a celebration of what's good. And and I know there's a lot of people who have many different religious undertones with it, and that's that's respectable and that's fine, but honestly, like the way I see Christmas is that it is a time for people to celebrate the good in this world. And and I can do that. And I get to do that. And that's what's awesome. And I, I really want you guys to kind of look at it that way as well who watch my vlogs because it's really hard sometimes to have that Christmas spirit as they call it or that holiday spirit, whatever you want to say that it is. Um, you know, sometimes it's really hard to get into it because you have the bee faces in this world or you also just have that stress of, of money, of, you know, material things to give, of, you know, receiving gifts and not having something to give because let me tell you, that's really awkward when you have, like, an old friend or a neighbor or something who leaves you a gift and you weren't planning on doing anything because sometimes you just don't. But... I encourage you guys, strongly encourage you guys, as my boyfriend would say, to look at the good in this world and celebrate the good. And so sometimes it might it might just take accepting a gift and being happy that somebody has given you a gift even though you didn't plan on giving something to them. Also knowing that, you know, when you do have those money stressors, you do have those problems that you know, there is a lot of good things in this world to be happy and thankful and to recognize and, you know, to be able to take a day, you know, with it being like Christmas Day, to take a day to just be thankful for your health and for your family and for friends or for your job or for whatever it is that you are thankful for. Like, take that time to do it because it's, it's, it's the best time of year to do it. But I wanted to know what you guys are doing for the holidays and what kind of stuff uh, do you guys look forward to? What kind of stuff do you notice that is kind of like one of those things you regret knowing, like the bee face? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And I hope you guys have an awesome holiday. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna be in California the week of Christmas, so maybe I'll do a vlog there. You might have a different scenery. Wouldn't that be awesome? So yeah, and, and uh, hopefully for Christmas I'm going to have some stuff in the back here. I've uh, given my boyfriend some ideas of things that I want. So, yes. Anyway guys, I am going to uh, let you guys go so I can do some Christmas shopping that I need to do. I love your faces and I will see you guys later. Bye! Mm -hmm. What am I trying to say? Uh. What? I think we're about done. Yeah, sounds like a good vlog. Okay, okay.